Hi friends, Marin with Intu Mobile. So we're going to take a just deep dive into these apps that were preloaded on here. None of these are really final. In fact, Steven Sanofsky said that many of the apps were created by intern teams over the course of 10 weeks. Still, it gives you an idea of what we can look forward to with Windows 8 and its app ecosystem. Uh, they're bringing in a lot of tools where, you know, C Sharp, C++, but also JavaScript and HTML Five, so that there should be a broad range of developers who can create apps for this. This is an RSS headline reader, and you know we've brought it into mobile. So let's say you want to choose a couple stories, and as you know we, as we swiped on those, this contextual menu came up again. You can add feeds, remove all, you can ma magazineify, which gives you this nice, nice interface to read the stories really cool for a lot of apps and then uh, as we mentioned before you can always bring in your you can always snap in other apps or you can switch them quickly if you want there's the browser you can go back to the home screen let's go back to that uh, not that one so this is the magazineify you still have your charms here and then you click back to get into it full screen app a lot of content focusing on that swipe up you have your contextual menu there's only back on this one but so that that gesture UI is, is gonna be throughout there and if you were and if you're using a, a mouse and keyboard you just right click to bring up this swipe menu or I guess it's not a swipe menu so these are some of the developer tools where you can actually create an app on here if you wanted to we're not gonna we're not gonna do that for this purpose but we are going to pick play through some of these games and some of these apps this is what is that Othello essentially okay done paint and play Microsoft Paint let's see how many I believe this should have there you go, there's five. Can't put my other hand on it because I'm recording. And so if you want to, you can just swap back into other apps like that. You can snap one in there, as I like to call it. That's an app there, that's a half app. Let's keep on looking. I would like it if it automatically, if you hit the home, it goes back to where you were, but I understand why it doesn't. So pick stream. Flickr API. But again, this is just a large full screen full screen app. Big beautiful um Yeah, that looks pretty good. Contextual menus, you can bring the charm up there with your system settings. Switch to other apps on the fly. Mix the apps in there. Adjust them. Put the full screen in. Piano. If you notice that little loading screen, like that's that's the same, or that loading animation, very similar to Windows Phone 7. I like how they are unifying this experience across devices. So this is giving you pretty much, you know, all the standard stuff that you see on an iPad. You have the responsiveness. You have beautiful screen full uh, you know full screen apps obviously hardware is going to change you have your contextual menus throughout you can switch apps you can bring your charm up it's it's an exciting it's actually a pretty exciting and cool platform that and it's you know I can't remember the last time I was really excited about Microsoft products Windows Phone 7 very interesting but it was a bit limited just by the first build, you know, with the lack of third-party multitasking, but this has, you know, this has the full power of Windows behind it with this pretty UI and this multi-touch interface. Uh, how do I do this? 
I don't know. Those things are gonna kill me. Uh, okay. Uh, that's not a word. I can go. There you go. Ah, uh, that's cool. Little word game. Alright, done with that. And then you have word hunt, you have little little games here, Sudoku. Let's look at aircraft. But you know, after playing with this for a little bit, you can see the potential. It's a really I'm actually going to read the instructions because I'm... Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not smart enough to deal with that. But, like I was saying, quick look at the apps on Windows 8, and you can see the potential in this platform, not only just in tablet computing, but that's what excites, that's what excites us. So, thanks again for watching, and we'll have a lot more for you over the next couple of days.